Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome back to Southern RPG. Now, I've been away for a little while, so I, I haven't really caught up with a lot of the Bioware news that's been going on. But I've had had some time to actually think about my genuine thoughts on the thing itself. And it allowed me to read up some things and see what people are saying and what people are feeling and how it's going. And it's been literally all over the bloody place. Now, there were some leaks from Bioware saying that a lot of the stuff that was going on there, it, it was just, it, it's just a mess in Bioware, really. Some leaked numbers on how much the game is sold is it can be upwards of a million or it could be less it just depends while you're looking at it and what the wording that's being used so it's all over the place just a confusing pile of crap really at the moment and it's just i just don't understand why we weren't given the dragon age game that we wanted in the first i don't understand why these developers and these writers and the, these teams the ea the big companies that own all these games and stuff like that why they don't just make their own feckin ip if you want to make a game that's based around anything that you want why does all these developers keep having to piggyback off of already set in stone worlds and ips that we've grown to love and really care about over the time because yes i'm one of those guys that really does care about his franchises that he loves and i put a lot of like my heart and soul into reading about the lore reading about all of the things that go along with the games or the books or the movies or tv series i like looking at what's in the background just as much as i like looking at what's on the foreground yes a game can be pretty but it's not really something that really matters all that much to me especially when it comes to rpgs i'm way more about the story and way more about the characters the development the interplay between the characters and how it reflects into the story and when bioware created dragon age origins back in the day it was like an explosion of creativity in my opinion where the 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 idea that what they've done in that game could go so far from what they did with Baldur's gate one and two because if you really do look at it Baldur's gate one whilst being quite linear in the way that it was and whilst uh, you could be good or evil it still felt like going from Baldur's gate one to shadows of arms still felt like it was one story and you can continue being that evil character at the beginning of Baldur's Gate Shadows of Arm 2 like the n number two you could still be that evil character because it gave the sort of freedom in between the two games to carry on your story now while the end of Baldur's Gate 1 does actually like it, it's you have to kill the dude yes or yes so like it, it's not really like you have a choice to side with him or anything like that because he just wants to kill your ass that's basically it so there are some things that were set in stone during those early Baldur's gate days that you couldn't really make the choices like you could in dragon age origins dragon age origins had just had such a massive amount of choice and depth and character development and the interplay between the characters it was just absolutely spot on now bioware was known for its story for the storytelling for the the for all of that like anything that's involved in the writing they were known for that and david gator i saw a poster from him on uh, x i keep almost saying twitter because i'm old but the uh every time and he was talking about how bioware for years like 10 years or something like that eight to ten years it uh, uh, was already like they already stopped giving a shit about their writers a long time ago and that's why we waited so damn long for the next dragon age game to come out which shouldn't even really be a dragon age they could have just done this as a whole new ip and it it might not have done well it might like, it might have done a little bit better if it wasn't shitting all over the fans of the original series the original trilogy in the first place it might have done a little bit better if it went into its own world now for reasons of my own with the force stuff and the, all of the things that are thrown down my throat and uh, like the the general talking between the characters for me the game would have still been shit regardless if it was dragon age or not regardless if they hurt my feelings my pretty little feelings if they tore the petals off my flower i still would have probably hated the game just for the conversational pieces and the way it literally felt like i was playing a marvel game in lego marvel where it's kind of kiddie but with some adult-ish x bits in there but it really just felt like they should have done it as a separate as a separate game it should have been done as a separate game it should have been done as a separate thing and then if it done well it did well if it didn't do well it didn't do well but what happened was they just decided to write in all of this bullshit and i've said in a previous video that i believe that rook just got like written in at the last second and it was supposed to be someone else it was supposed to be someone else but it wouldn't have fit the narrative that they now wanted to do and change within the game itself now the dei nonsense that goes into the dragon age franchise now is just it's, it's just gonna go into the mass effect like there's nothing that can be done about it we know it's gonna happen there's no point the thing that we need to to do as players as customers as lovers of these games we need to not buy it we need to do 
much better than we did this time. And as a general rule of things, I think there will be some lessons learned from Dragon Age from like the amount of people that bought it. I think that Mass Effect is going to flop on sales for the first few days. Now, not completely because there's going to be loads of people that aren't that don't really care about the reviews, don't really care about any of that stuff. They just go and buy a game. You're talking about your baby boomers and all that kind of thing where they just go and buy a game and play it. And that's that's up to them. That's their business. But we as people that actually care about the, uh, the this kind of thing with the idea that we love what we love and don't like what we don't like so or hate what we hate like you don't have to hate or love things you can like and not like things it doesn't have to be that extreme but what they've effectively done in the, in this dragon age veil guard dragon age reboot slash just ride in the coattails of a great trilogy they've basically deleted the law the law of dragon age like they've deleted entire sections of the world as it was known and so the the decisions that we made in other dragon age games won't matter anymore because those places have been effectively deleted like um, it's just not non-existent now it just doesn't do and there's no way of bringing that back and it kind of felt to me like they just didn't want us to play those original Dragon Age games anymore so we can get the idea of what the choices we made would have helped in Velgard. It feels like they're just cutting the first three games off from ex existence so we don't play them anymore and they're going to start their own one. Now I don't think there's going to be another Dragon Age game like even if there is I'm not even going to go near it like it, after this thing unless something comes unless it comes up and it comes up a week later where people are playing it and they're telling me that like I'll, I'll look for some of my trusted reviewers like like skill up and a few other people the, like if they're if they're playing the game and they say that it's this 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 and this the people that i trust when they they're talking about these things then maybe i'll buy it but i'm just gonna not go for it this time i'm probably gonna end up bloody doing the same for mass effect and i say that now because like i know when mass effect comes out i'm just gonna fucking buy it i know i am because it's mass effect and but the thing that scares me the most and that, that's the thing that we shouldn't do it we shouldn't be buying the games anymore these companies need to know that we don't want this shit we don't want anything that any of the things that are involved with it we don't want to be have things forced down our throats we want politics in games we want religious in games we don't want social politics in games we don't want some bullshit where you're making a game for a small minority of people and the thing was that i even read posts on reddit where they were like they were they did the people that they made the game for didn't even and like it and then i saw this absolutely mad post like i saw it, I, I couldn't find it for the purpose of this video but the, there was a post from a guy who said that the game has stopped him from being homophobic and stopped him from being transphobic and blah 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 and then there was all these conversations and people were really happy about it this was on the dragon age veil guard reddit because you'd never see something like that on the dragon age official reddit because everyone would just shit all over it but it had so many upvotes like so many upvotes and i saw a post from some random person on there that was just like it's not good enough it's not good enough for you for you to to just be sorry about it and blah 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 you need to do more and it just it literally felt like Taj was writing this fucking comment I, I, I didn't understand it like the, they wanted the, the person to go in and start cutting their arms off in forgiveness whipping their back like some Catholic priest back in the day when they felt like they were doing too much sin and blah 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 like what what do what do what do people want like I don't understand what people want but anyway like that kind of tangent just went off in a different direction let's talk about the writing the writing itself is dog shit the characters are dog shit the interplay is dog shit the four romances are dog shit the character everything is dog shit right up until adding the cabal of bullshit at the end of the game that was just like yeah let's let's get ready to start some more Dragon Age games well let, here's a big fucking massive fuck you to EA and Bioware but people aren't gonna chance it again people aren't gonna you've fucked this so hard this time that it's just i don't think it's gonna it, it's gonna come back from now and i think you're gonna see that with the release of mass effect the game itself and when that comes out you're gonna see that the sales for that is gonna be dropping significantly until there's people that really give like until there's people like skill up until there's people like mortismo who does like the games who did like veil guard and got some really big shit for it but i still do like the way he does his reviews because it gives it, it is it, it might not be what people think is completely unbiased but there's no one no one's unbiased even skill up isn't unbiased just because he disliked the game doesn't mean in, a, in another time that he might have liked it or not it, it, it's just everyone is biased in 
in their own way. And I think there's going to be a lot more people biased on the negative side of things when Mass Effect comes out in how long it's going to be in two years. But we do have Exodus, which is coming out, which is the original writers for the Baldur's Gate games, like for the ones originally at Bioware, the really, really on point good ones. So I have a lot of high hopes for Exodus. This looks like it's going to be a massive one. As long as they don't fall into that, I don't think they will because they've already made videos about how they're not going to fall into this trap of whatever the fuck's going on with most of these games at the moment. But the writing was always the backbone, the actual backbone of what made their games great. And they had, they, they, they did have great game mechanics. They did have some good stuff in there, but the writing was always what kept people playing and what kept them playing over and over again. So the, the, it was, I mean, you have the, you had the right. They, they were doing their job and they were doing their thing and everyone really loved what they were doing. But then as David Gator did say in his post, he did say that, that they just stopped caring years ago about the writers and they, they stopped paying them like they should be paid so they're not gonna those good writers are not gonna be playing uh gonna be writing for games where they're not being given as much respect and as due as they need as they need to be given because they are the backbone they're, they're the core of the game the game uh, especially in an rpg it's a role-playing game it's not about the mechanics it's not about how pretty it is it's about the story because we can play jrpgs from 20 years ago still and it still be fucking great because the writing is great you can still play games like Baldur's gate one and two and even with the like enhanced editions and stuff like that that came out where they upgraded the graphic you can still play those games you can play jrpgs that come out now metaphor for example where the graphics is absolutely dog shit like it's absolutely dog shit but it's got a great story so it, it, it just does rpgs are literally just there for stories it's going across the entire industry though it's not just rpgs that are being shit and shit on and shut down for this but i don't really give a crap about a lot of the arguments about like unsexifying the women in games i don't really give a shit about that to be perfectly honest i couldn't give two fuck it's got nothing to do with what i look for in a game so whether she's got big tits or not doesn't bother me whether she looks like she's dressed like a man or she's not dressed like a man or she's wearing a short skirt or a long skirt or a dress or whatever those things don't bother me in the slightest i don't give a shit so there's a lot of games that people are just shitting on because it's been unsexified that i would say were still good games while not like jumping on the anti woke bandwagon and just hating on it just because they just made the females look a little bit more masculine like I, I really don't care what i do care about is taking the idea of the social politics and putting that above the idea of the writing and the story of the game that's what that's what really did it and bioware has been trying to chase these leaks and stuff that are going on they're trying to get all that and they're trying to get all these people caught and they're giving more of a shit about catching a leak than the, about their bullshit that they got going on in their company than actually taking the criticisms in because they're still doing it you've even got legacy media now you've even got all the old school like uh websites that used to write their reviews even they're turning against the game because they're realizing that we don't really give a shit about their opinions anymore like it really doesn't matter because they just jump on whatever bandwagon's there and they all use the same words and it's like they always use the same ai engine to do their writing for them so they're just as bad as the fucking writers for this game to be honest because most of them really don't give a shit they probably don't even play the games they probably just stuck it a load into google gemini advanced because you need the advanced ones to keep the most up-to-date data and just get them to write their reviews for them and then they just edit it as they go along like that's just feels like what's happening with most things these these days i think even youtubers are doing that stuff to be honest that's why i tend to like to just talk to you guys rather than read off a script or just think about exactly what i'm going to be talking about because i want to give my unfettered opinion on stuff where it doesn't have ideas written down in front of me that i need to talk about i just like to talk about whatever comes in, into my head and i hope you guys do enjoy that now i did see a lot of comments regarding so while well, we're talking about mass effect i did see a lot of comments about how like uh they hope mass effect 5 doesn't even release now that's why i think there's some sentiment there that there's going to cause mass effect 5 to have a bit of hatred and from the beginning and a lot of people are saying they all go the same way and the thing that really is bad is that all the writers and all the developers and all the people that were working on dragon age Veilguard have now moved over to mass effect so it's just gonna go the same fucking way there's gonna be nothing that changes and without the proper devs it's just mass effect is just gonna be another Veilguard because it's all they know and how to do and they don't know how to do anything else because they, they, they're probably most of the people that are writing there are, 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 have no experience of how to write these games and stuff like that they need someone in there with some age they need someone in there with some like life experience in certain aspects and so you really need to have that 
mentor type person when you're doing these type of games and they just don't have that anymore because they, the, the the guys that were actually writing the good stories don't give a shit about this woke idealism or whatever the hell you call it i still can't get used to saying that word but i do have to say that dragon age velgard it's just it's just not canon it's period it's just it, there's nothing canon about it it's its own thing it, it's it's really just they just don't know what they're doing they i think they're going to realize what they've done but then again it's just nothing's ever good enough for the people these kind of people like not i'm not blanketing everyone who's in dei or into dei or doing any of that stuff because it, it's not everyone is not the same but there's a lot of people in there where none nothing is actually good enough and they're always grasping for a little bit more but they're grasping for the wrong things if you're going to be like someone who's going to be creating something yes you want to grasp for new heights you want to do better all the time but you want to grasp in the right direction for the story not for some random crap that you want to just throw into the game to post your trauma and shit in there but they're actually like i can't believe i just couldn't believe that bioware were actually trying to tell everyone that we were wrong for thinking their game is crap instead of just like it actually being crap they can't they, the, the, there's people on x that are some of those writers and developers in there sorry i'm just rubbing my face so i'm probably taking my voice away from the thing because i'm just getting frustrated they were talking about how the that we just don't like it because we're transphobic or homophobic or blah 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 i'm actually just shit right Writerphobic. Like, I can't stand shit, right? I've actually bought so many books over the time that, that look good to me and then started to read them and realized how bad the story is starting just from just from like the first couple of chapters. Like sometimes, because I'm not one of those people that want uh, the game to or the book or anything. Just I don't want it to be a slow start. So when people say it gets better later, that pisses me off because i don't give a shit if it gets better later it should be good from the start yes things can start a little bit slower and ease you into things but to start slow dragon age Belgrade started slow ended slow and it was just slow in general like it's just terrible but these are the things that i look for in in stories so i mean it is what it is but i just wanted to like talk about some of the things that popped up and why i think that, that literally bioware is just deleting the past to create the future and it's just not going very well let me know down below what you think about the writing and what you think about everything that's going on so far how you think mass effect 5 will do when that comes out eventually if you're going to buy it or not let me know down below i want to thank you all for watching remember to like and sub all your gaming goodness fly safe and avoid local chats again